Hi everyone, Annika Walker here, personal stylist and very excited to have a video for you today. So school holidays kind of got in the way and took over my life, but very excited to be back and into the swing of things. So today's shop share video is all about shoes. As soon as we have that change in season, we will find that our footwear is really going to change. I had a gorgeous email from a client of mine and she requested to, to sort of learn how she can update her shoe department. So I thought that um, she was saying that she feels like she's a little bit classic in her shoe choices and feels that it's time to sort of jazz things up a bit. So I've tried to find some pieces that are definitely a little bit more on trend for this season. But to be honest, the pieces that I'll probably always show you are very much for everyday style and they're not about being really on trend and then that's it, they're done next season. They're still going to have those classic edges to them which will mean that they'll take you from season to season. So let's get started. I'm over in ASOS at the moment. I loved this, this is just a gorgeous loafer, so very masculine style. Uh, as you can see here, these are just the perfect flat. So what I love about these is that as they've styled them here, you just wear them with, you know, really rugged sort of boyfriend denim, or you could wear them with a wide leg pant would look gorgeous. Or I'd even love to see something like this put back with a sort of that midi length floral dress that we're seeing a lot of. So super duper wearable. And this is what you need when you don't want to wear your sneakers, but you still want to be in flats. So say goodbye to the ballerina flat. Um, through the warmer weather, I was talking all about mules, but now that we're moving into our cooler months, you'll probably find that more of a closed in toe uh, and a closed in shoe, sorry, is going to be a much better fit here. So that's a really great price point on that one as well. Uh, so let's have a look. The other ones that I pointed out here at ASOS were the other flat shoe. Let's jump into this guy. We'll have a quick look at my sneakers. I know I probably talk about sneakers quite a bit, but. They're still going so strong, so we can't uh, dismiss them. So what I wanted to talk about was this sort of a style here. So they're very chunky, and that's the best way to describe them. So talking about how to inject sneakers into your wardrobe, if you're wanting something that's quite on trend, this is what I'm seeing everywhere. Um, so all over Europe and in the US as well, when you're looking at Fashion Week, this is what they're wearing back with floral dresses. So. Uh, quite chunky and there's a whole range of colors through there as well. I was in Hong Kong last year and I was seeing a lot of these then and initially I was a little bit like I think these are the ugliest things I've ever seen but it's like with all things I think there are versions of it that are coming out that are a little bit more toned back which is why I've chosen this particular one because I think that the um, the colors are a little bit more muted and so it'll make your job a lot easier styling them back with your pieces so these will look great back with jeans as well but the idea is that they've been worn with skirts and with dresses as well so lots of fun to be had with your sneakers let's take a look at the other sneakers that I was going to show you which is just a a really good classic pair of cons the old stars so what I loved about this was the platform in them I thought was fantastic I don't know if you guys can see that there so it's quite um, subtle because the change in the sole there although I kind of love that it's got that bonus little bit of added height in there so anyone who um, is looking for a little bit of extra height is going to absolutely love this so I'll just click that there. So yeah, you can just see they're just, and they're silver as well. So they're lots of fun. So breaking away from that white sneaker. I thought this was brilliant, lots of fun. And you know, your sneakers are something that will definitely take you through um, throughout the entire year, even in spring, summer, and from season to season. And cons seem to just, you know, almost look better the more loved that they are. So the other things that I want to talk about, our other shoe choices while we're here in ASOS, so very much a focus on on pointy book boots so lots of western style boots are coming through for this season which i'll show you some other versions of that but i liked this one i liked that it just had this sort of croc skin effect so and the buckles as well so you can kind of see there this idea again that we're wearing back with a croc denim uh, or wide leg pants or a you know those floral skirts that I've, or dresses that i've been talking about but i love this is like the perfect heel height I think so it's more of a mid block heel so very wearable during the day but still very much um, perfect for a night out as well so 
I love this style. I just think that the, I always think with your shoes that it's great to have things that will just set your shoes apart from everyone else's. So it's good to have some, you know, depending on what your style is, more classic looks, but I love this kind of a thing because it's got lots going on. So this kind of a shoe definitely, even though it's a black boot, it is definitely the hero piece if that's what you want to focus on. So I've definitely clicked on that for you guys. And then the other boot that I wanted to talk about whilst we're still in ASOS is this definitely a western style boot so this is something that might be for more of our um young, younger watchers it's sort of something that is very on trend so anyone watching any of the coachella feeds or the you know um street style from there this is what a lot of the girls there would have been wearing what i wanted to point out here that i really loved was this awesome heel as well so you can sort of see the detail in that heel um, and i love that it's just got that nice little silver toe as well Again, this would be fantastic, just exactly as they've styled it. You've got cropped pants, which is basically, most pants are pretty much cropped now. So even though this is a slightly higher uh, rise with the boot, the main thing is here is that you're not having it, um, trying to put your jeans inside it or anything like that. It's all about your cropped jeans or rolling them up a little bit and having that frayed hem. So yeah, so no more jeans going on the inside of your boots here, ladies. All right, so now I am gonna take you over so at um, Witchery, I did want to show you another brogue that I saw there, which I just thought was beautiful. So I'll click that for you guys. Uh, so this one is really quite beautiful, a little bit more of a rounded toe, which I'm generally not as drawn to round toes. The only reason is I find that it can shorten the leg a little bit. Visually, I just find that a more of a pointier toe does elongate the leg. So. For myself, I generally go for more of a pointed toe. But for anyone that does like a little bit more of a classic look, I don't know if you can see it here. I'll try and zoom in for you, but it's got this gorgeous little gold studding just around here on the sole of it, which I just thought, again, that idea, a little bit of a attention to detail, along with it being a paint and leather. I bought a paint and leather pair of shoes from Joe Mercer, seriously, about five years ago, and I still wear them um, each sort of autumn, winter. So. It's a really good piece. They're just going to see you from season to season. So uh, quite timeless. They can be harder to wear with a bare leg. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but I don't think that that looks very flattering at all. So I'd be more inclined to wear this type of a shoe with your pants or with jeans. Um, possibly again with a longer skirt or a dress, but definitely with go, run with that sort of masculine styling. So the other boot that I want to show you was the Charlotte boot. I recently did an event and I had a lot of the um, the looks were using this boot and it comes in three colorways so you can see we've got a cashew the black and then this is also called a caper so uh, I actually really I like the caper but I also really love the black which normally I'm not much of a, I sort of have all sorts of colors and not that much black but you'll notice in this edit there's a lot quite a bit of black um, but I just love the contrast of the the natural wood sole back with the black and coming back to that pointed toe as well very much a western style boot here and um but a classic boot as well so just really easy to slip in and out of perfect heel height so i'm loving that from witchery and such a good price point as well so i wanted to go over to tony bianco i actually found some some great shoes there and these ones were, I sort of thought I should put something a little bit more casual in there and a little bit more classic as well. And you'll see a slightly lower heel. So this is something that, you know, depending on what you're up to during the day, your heel height will take you from being quite casual to being dressy. So it's nice to have a range of flat boots and then go into more of a mid and then a high heel boot as well. So this is really perfect every day. If you're still, you know, getting out and you're pushing a pram and just going to the park, you could so wear these and feel really quite dressed up but still be very comfortable or whether you're just running around doing your shopping or something like that. I'll just take you through some of the looks. But again, very much that Western style and a really nice natural colour. The other thing to look at here, let me get a sign-on shot for you. So you can see the opening of the boot here is quite wide. What I always find with my clients, especially if you're thicker through the calves, having a lot more room through the, the opening of the boot will actually be far more flattering. If a boot comes up and is really tight and fitted around the leg, it can make the calf 
appear much larger than what it is. So having a nice amount of room around the ankle is actually very flattering. So anyone with thicker calves, look for a wider opening on the boot. That's my number one tip. The other thing that I loved about the color of this boot was that it's obviously very similar to our skin tone. So wearing this with a bare leg is really easy going come winter time. So it, sometimes you'll find if you did this boot in the black, which I can see it is available in the black, but it will just cut the leg off a little bit more and it won't be as flattering, which is why I'd go back to the, the first color there with a the more natural color. So the other, just checking that I've clicked on that for you guys. So the other uh, style that I wanted to look at here is a heel. So obviously I've talked about some sneakers, I've showed you some brogues, and now I'm going to take you into some heels. Now admittedly, I very rarely wear a stiletto heel anymore, purely because I just find that if I'm at an event or anything, you know, I'm sort of more comfortable when I've got a block heel. But to be honest, I actually was on the Tony Bianco Instagram page and I saw this on someone and it was the most amazing heel. And what I think was so gorgeous about it was, it is, it's, it's obviously, it's a white, but it's then got the, the, that sort of clear, uh, you know, sort of, so across the top of the foot and also across the back here. So it just makes the leg look really long and there's next to nothing because it's such a fine ankle strap and it's such a fine strap across the top of the foot. It's very flattering. So I just thought that this was definitely worth putting in there. Very timeless and will look great in spring, summer, worn with dresses, but even just worn back with a jean if you're going out for dinner and you don't have very far to walk, that is the kind of shoe that I would be putting on with just an awesome blazer and you would look amazing. It does come in lots of other colors, but this was my top pick. So the other one that I want to show you is another heel which was just absolutely beautiful and really striking. Not in that color, but it um, was in the black. I just thought that this was beautiful. And I love, again, notice there's a pointed toe there. And I love, this is sort of more of a mule style heel. The heel is very doable. It's not very high at all. And you can see there on the foot, I just think that looks amazing. So whether you do have a bare leg, um, if you're wearing it back with a dress or a skirt, when there's no strap around the ankle, it is really flattering on the leg because it makes the leg look very, very long. So it's great to elongate the leg, but you'll find here as well that this would be great with jeans. So a little bit like the previous heel, but without the, the high heel height that I showed you. But I just thought these are really timeless shoes and you'll wear these from, you know, event to event, no matter what it is, but a little bit more casual than the previous pair that I showed you. So I hope you have enjoyed my shoe edit for this season so like i said start with a few pairs of sneakers there's still room for your white sneakers in there but look into those chunkier ones or something with a little bit of color in there and then on top of that we're moving into some great more dressy flat shoes so looking at some brogues there and sort of channeling that masculine style and then moving into some flat boots into boots with some heels um, western boots are very much on trend which is why you sort of i'm talking lots about them your classic ankle boots from previous seasons are still very very viable and doable um, but yeah western boots if you're wanting to update your look and then a couple of pairs of heels to see you through evening looks so i hope you love that shop share video all the links are there so get shopping keep sending me through emails and questions because i love finding out what you guys would like to learn more about so i'll be back again next week i promise i won't skip next week and yeah i'll chat to you soon thanks everyone